New controversy over the Common Core curriculum. That's the National Education Initiative promoted by the Obama administration, with growing pushback now from some of the most liberal states in the country. In New York, leaders of both parties calling on the legislature to rethink how the state uses Common Core. This after the statewide teachers union withdrew support for the standards until a, quote, major course correction took place. Joining us now, Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio talk show host and Fox News contributor, and Kyle Olson with the Education Action Group. Great to see both of you. So, Come Kyle, on. I get a lot of tweets about Common Core, a lot of Facebook posts from people who watch this show and watch Fox. Why do people not like Common Core? They don't like Common Core because it's shifting power away from the local uh, level to the federal level, to the national level. And so parents, teachers, uh, school board members, others are feeling uh, this pinch where they're, they don't have accountability at the local level anymore. Um, but it goes beyond that. Uh, they're, they're seeing uh, this huge amount of data being collected on their students. They don't know where that's going. So there's a lot of concerns, and now, just now it's starting to bubble to the surface. So, so, Leslie, the point of Common Core, according to the administration, was to establish consistent standards mm -hmm. and to have graduating seniors in high school be prepared to go to college. But mm -hmm. what do you make of the fact now that Governor Cuomo, right here in the state of New York, against Common Core now? Well, there are a couple of problems. First, in the state of New York, they wanted to start testing earlier, and not just in California where we haven't started earlier. The teachers are not prepared. Uh, they don't have the new curriculum. They don't have the materials. So, uh, quite frankly, I think it was a bad idea in New York to start early. I'm a liberal. I think this is a great program, but again, the implementation, the rollout, if you will, has not been good. If you look to a state like Massachusetts, they've been very successful with this, and they rate highest, uh, one of the highest in the world, along with other countries who rate high. We have a problem. It's not about federal running the state classroom. This is not a federal mandate. It's about making sure that everyone is on board and prepared, including the parents. And we don't have that 100% yeah, in any thing, of the 45 states. But the interesting states. thing is, Kyle, that some states said no can do. We don't want to be a part of Common Core. How did they do that and why? They did it because what happened was the Obama administration put Common Core into the stimulus. And so they said, we will give you cash if you ad adopt these standards. Ah. And so there were states like Kentucky that hadn't even seen the standards and adopted them anyway just to get the cash. In my opinion, that was where the process was corrupted. Um, but what's interesting, though, you mentioned Massachusetts. Massachusetts has put a two-year moratorium on, uh, on implementing Common Core. And so this is conservative states and liberal states for a variety of reasons saying this is not in the best interest of our students. So, so, Leslie, I know that uh, Kyle reports on education all the time, and one of the other concerns that he's heard about on his website and that I've heard from people getting in touch with me is that they feel like Common Core somehow enforces mediocrity amongst our young people. How would you respond to that? Oh, I, I would strongly disagree. I think if we look in the United States, state by state, and on the whole, on a national level, um, at the uh, failing uh, of our students and, and the dropout rate, I, don't, I think this raises the bar, and I think that causes a, a problem for many. I think some teachers have to step it up more. Students have more work. Parents have to spend more time mm -hmm. working with their kids on homework. And some of those states that have opted out have very, very low test scores. And it's not just about test scores. It's about where can this child go? if they stay in school once they graduate. We need to be competitive uh, with the rest of the world, and right. education is key to that. Well, I know all about that homework stuff, guys, because <laughs> I have a <laughs> third too. grader and a fifth grader, and I don't know. They're learning, they're learning like, I don't know, calculus by the time they get to sixth grade. It's unbelievable. All yeah. right, Leslie and Kyle, a great speaking with you today. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, a massive asterisk.